Drop it. Alright, welcome to the Diving Show. I'm Diving. Got something special for you guys today. This is also my first uh, personal video, so y'all see who I am. Uh, me and the wife, Cherry Wine, went up, got some dinner today, and I stopped at GameStop. Got something neat. You guys are gonna like this. This is the PlayStation 4 joystick been waiting a long time to get my hands on this so and this is my first unboxing video so y'all gonna have to work with me on the uh, technique caliper whatever but uh, GameStock had four of them left and I talked to the wife about stopping and getting one by the way, she's upstairs watching uh, Ohio State uh, kicking some butt. Anyhow, from what I understand, uh, this does not come with a uh, mini USB uh, plug for charging, etc. Eh, jump. Instructions. Jump. Cover, jump, bottom, jump. Wow. I like. Ooh, that does fit in the hands a lot better. Notice my fingers don't dig into the uh, well. Like on the older joysticks we had, they came in when you gripped them. That curvy edge right there always hit, cause your fingers to get sore. That, and then when you're holding them, you know, a lot of guys say hold them down here, hold them up here, whatever. And you grip them. If I just grip it like that, I can hit anything I want. But I always held mine like this. And I stuck the corner right here in the middle of my finger. That way I can use the tips of my thumbs to control everything. And it helped out. It was good. But, you know, after a while you get the cramping in your hands. They say play for an hour. Put the game down. Come on. Three, four, six hours. As a lot of you know. Um, I only play on Saturdays and Sundays. Once in a while I get home from work on the weekends. I'll play on a Friday and do videos but man ergonomically I'm gripping it all the way down I got my thumbs got my fingers that it's more curved right there I like it I do like the tops of the buttons that they're kind of curved right here a little bit it does give you a little bit more sensitivity so when you're playing springs feel about the same as what the other ones do but of course it's a new joystick the new ones always do the button proportionate to the joystick I'm going to say see if we get on this side right here eh, proportionate between the joystick and the button same from here to there so you don't have a lot of this stuff you just you know kind of be sensitive with it this one here ah, feels about the same distance between the top once you get a lot right here between the top of the stick and the buttons I actually think we'll do a side by side tip tip the buttons are maybe I'd say the PlayStation 3 versus the 4 quarter inch difference between the thumb toggles you can see there's definitely a big difference between the R1 L1 maybe a quarter inch wider as far as the controllers the components 
so it does spread it out just a little bit more yes that's whiskey over there he's my little doggy and then you can see sissy over here she's walking around that's the ones you hear in the background sorry for if you guys play and you hear the dog bark you know it's him he got denied as a black ops dog he's been trying ever since but anyhow touchpad I know Killzone is going to have the uh, owl that sits on your shoulder and to go from here to up here that's a little of a stretch of going on it I'm trying to get the glare but when you're playing man them R1 oh those buttons feel great ooh hey they put the little lip on the R, uh, R2 on there so you don't have to buy the little extenders well that even feels better that way always do your finger exercises and stretch before you play definitely helps out but uh, overall I do like these toggles better the lift I think it's going to give you for the snipers uh, a little bit more precision because you can just bear you can wirely walk your joystick because when you use the other ones you always end up slowing or you're playing and you got to hold hold up and then reposition and then rock with the old ones because they're domed I think these ones will be better start buttons a little bit more off to the side oh hey look at that I turned it on didn't even read the instructions and can turn it on gotta love hillbilly style but anyhow overall yeah I'm going to give PlayStation a thumbs up. The only reason I don't play Xbox, I don't like the joystick. The buttons are offset. To me, being a truck driver, equal distance, separation, you know, these are the same, these are the same, it's formatted, you know, this is all you're doing anyhow, and if you're up here doing all this, what? It's preference. Some people like them, some people don't. Me personally, that's the only reason I don't play Xbox. I don't like the joystick. Hands down, don't like it. Yeah, you can go to Walmart and you can buy a joystick that converts over. But, all in all, other than a guy in Alaska would like to have these heated. <laughs> There's a hillbilly out there. It's got something for sale. But uh, I'm waiting to see how a couple hours of play with your hands to see if it's going to hold the moisture and become a slip, slipperier or a slick. Uh, some of y'all know that I used to mod joysticks. And I had a gentleman send me one. And there was Doritos, uh, chip grease pop beer been spilled on it when I took it apart the mold inside of it um, I'm waiting to see how these set up or sealed I'm not modern joysticks anymore I don't do that anymore I pretty much since I started the YouTube um, the Tyvon show going legit being accurate doing my skills to the best of my ability and doing everything but uh I would like to take it apart and see how it works. But uh, anyhow, PlayStation 4 is coming up November 15th. I will be purchasing one. It's already paid for. Um, I'm taking the whole YouTube over to uh, PlayStation 4. Oh, I like your targets. Ooh. R3, R1. It's nowhere near. Feels like it would be easier for you drop shotters. Uh, man, just close your eyes and feel it and pretend. Yeah, I see some good sniping coming along with this. But uh, kill zones coming up. 
and I'm a big Killzone fan, and uh, my YouTube will be taking over to Killzone. As you can see in the background, I'm a big uh, military guy walking to the Time Show Man Cave. Uh, if you can see this back wall right here, for those of you asking, yes, that's a parachute on the ceiling. These are my military wards and decorations and stuff like that. And then on the back wall back here is the race truck and everything. You can see the picture of Cherry Wine and right there. And, of course, my 2000 Camaro. You got to love them. It's a scale model. But anyway. Well, hey, guys. Appreciate you watching the first video of unboxing, first commentary video. Sorry I didn't shave, hey life but uh, I think you guys are going to be presently surprised of once you get this in your hands it just feels right it's not too long they added probably about I think the overall length is the same but they added the quarter inch or so it just feels right yeah anyhow Thanks for watching the Tyvin Show. Uh, Y'all have a good day. And I'd like to give a special thanks to um, Hike the Gamer. Check out his channel, Hike the Gamer. Um, he's the one that's really helped me out a lot of getting set up, uh, doing different processes, and becoming knowledgeable about YouTube. So I jumped into this, and I had no clue. Uh, I reached out to him. He's a good guy. He's a veteran. Uh, just like myself uh, check him out check his videos out subscribe to him sub he does a lot of live streaming with Grand Theft Auto right now so check him out guys and once again I'll see all y'all later see ya